And let's go ahead and grab a, another Emma one. We only have four left for our full case. And who are we going to get for our fourth or our fifth box? Oh, I think this one also doesn't have a weight. So it looks like maybe only the super light ones got weight. This one is really big. I think this might be the one that has like a flower face. All right, who do we have? One, two, three. Oh, this one is so cute. Oh, this one is just our beautiful Emma rabbit in super Lolita outfit. I love the gold tips to the ears. Oh, this one is so cute. Not exactly my colors with the yellow and red, but I don't think it looks too ketchup and mustardy. I love the hands of the Emma going up to the face. It almost looks like it's shocked. Maybe this is the Emma that's blowing out the candles of the birthday cake. Really cute. Oh, I think I was right because the name for this one is Make-A-Wish. And I think the name goes perfectly with how the hands are positioned. It definitely looks like Emma is going to blow out the candles. This one is really, really cute. I love it. And we don't have very many left to open. Let's go for our Lord of the Rings one. Oh, I'm so scared for this one. I was so excited when I saw Pop Mart had collaborated with Lord of the Rings. But when I saw the characters' faces, I was not as excited. I don't know. They're just kind of like Funko Pop. Super basic. Wasn't a huge fan. I do like Sauron and the Balrog though because you can't really see the faces on them. So I think they look really good. I also really like Gandalf. I think Gandalf would be fun. But there's a few in here that I think look terrible. Gimli looks okay. I definitely think there is a few here that are really awful. I think I got kind of a heavy box. I don't think it's that heavy. But hopefully I get one of the ones I like and not a weird one. Let's go ahead and open it up though and see. I really, really want the Balrog. So I'm hoping this is the Balrog. Oh, I don't think it is. This one is, this one is too skinny to be the Balrog. Oh no, maybe I got one of the elves. I don't think the elves are that good either, but let's go ahead and see. One, two, three. Oh, oh, I got Saruman. Oh, Saruman is kind of cool. He still looks kind of like Funko Poppy. I think he kind of looks like Cartman eyes. I don't know. For some reason, the face looks a bit South Parky. But Sauron is still cool. Or Saruman, not Sauron. I really like how they have his magic globe. It looks really cool. And clearly, we have a staff inside. So let's have a look in the bag. Yeah, we have a staff for him. Oh, this staff looks really cool. I like how much detail they put into this series. I just wish they had done so on the faces. I think this series could have been so cool if they had not had such a weird faces. Oh, look at Saruman. Saruman does look pretty badass, actually. I'm glad I didn't get one of the elves because I think the elves are some of the worst ones. Oh, he looks pretty cool. I like it, even though it's not the Balrog or Sauron. And the card for this series is huge. Look at it compared to like an Emma. It's bigger than an Emma figure. I definitely think it fits for Lord of the Rings though. Oh, I wish I, they had done this series better. This kind of bums me out. They did so many things right and then they did so many things wrong. I absolutely love Lord of the Rings though, so I had to pick this up. Hopefully I can get the Balrog in the future. And I have our next Emma one to open. We have three left for our Emma series. 
We still haven't gotten the plate one. Oh, this is definitely the plate one. Wow, this is so small and flat. As soon as you open the box, you would know you got the plate one. All right, let's have a look. Oh, it's still pretty cute and I enjoy this stand. I like the fact that they put this in there. Otherwise, it would be a pretty bad figure. But we have a cute pink stand for our plate. I guess if you like doing like high tea and you're really into doing like Lolita tea, this would be a really fun figure to have. And it is plastic on the back, like it feels more plasticky than the figures. It feels more like a plate material than the rest of the series. Definitely the Emma on the plate doesn't feel like it, but the backing feels like a plastic plate. I love the colors for this, even though I'm not a fan of the plate, I do absolutely love the colors. I think they nailed it on the colors. This green is so pretty. This is really cute. I know some people probably would be really disappointed with this, but I think if you're into like Lolita and going to high tea, this is still really cute and really fun. I could see people still enjoying this. When I was in Vancouver, I actually tried to go to high tea, but the restaurant, you had to like book ahead if you wanted high tea, so we didn't end up going. Look at this one. It has two of those weights, so you can't tell. And here is the card, and this character is just called Emma's Plate. And I'll show you afterwards what it looks like standing up, but here's a look with the stand. And I think since we opened the plate one, let's do another of the Emma series instead. We have two more of our other blind boxes to do, but let's have a look. Ooh, oh, this one's an interesting size. It's very small, but I don't think it's standing, so I don't think it's the secret. Let's have a look. Oh, uh, this is the birthday cake one. This one is gorgeous. I love it. It's so cute. And here's our card for Emma's birthday cake. And this one had a weight with it as well. And this is one of my favorites. I love the strawberries on the cake. It is so cute. And we have our little Emma sitting on top. And this is a bunny Emma. I love the Lolita headpiece in the really very, very pale pinky, and we have metallic white paint. This one is just so cute. I really, really love this one. The strawberries, I think, look so great, and you can totally tell this is a really beautiful birthday cake. This one is super, super cute. Definitely one of my favorites. I'm really excited that I got this full series because this one's adorable. This is Chino's Allure, and you can see how big this box is. It's huge. And the company that does this is called Timeshare. I've already opened this up before, and I got the purpley one. I'm hoping for the pink and white, or maybe the very, very baby pink and white. I also really like the one on the front. I love the turquoise and... It matches kind of my nails and then our yellow gold and I love the star. I think this is the one I want the most maybe, but these two are really cute. I'm just hoping we don't get one of the more grungier ones on the bottom with more muted colors. This one's really vibrant though, so I think I would be happy if we got a more pastel one. But I've had this forever. I've had this blind box for the longest time. So I'm really excited to open this up and see. Chino's Lord does have a new series that came out like I think a month or two ago. It's really expensive right now, but I'm hoping to get it maybe if the price goes down. I'm seeing people selling it like confirmed open for like over 50 bucks, which is a bit much. The plushies are really good quality though. Ooh, I think we might have gotten a white one. One, two, three. Oh, look at this one. We got one that is 
like crazy clown. This one is so vibrant. I think this might be the secret edition. I can't remember now. I'll have to look on the side. And we did have a little thing come out as well. I think this is a clip for yourself. I don't think it goes on the doll at all, but it just has a little pin there so that you can clip it. That is really, really cute. So maybe we got the secret edition. This one is really crazy looking. I do like how it's pastel though a bit. And I definitely think we got this secret edition because it isn't one of the six on the side and it does look like this shadow. So the secret edition for the first series of Chino's Lore is called Candy. And it definitely is a very candy filled. I love the logo for this company. Wow, I can't believe we got the secret edition. And I love this card. This card's really fun. The other Chino's lore I have from this series has closed eyes. So I'm glad we got one with open eyes. And the eyes are like so cool. I don't know how well you can see it on camera, but they're just really detailed and pretty. And we have a little heart nose. And we have super colorful like rainbow eyebrows that match the pattern on the feet and the hands and our horns. I love the color of this. I definitely love the color and this is so soft. It's one of the best plushies. I think this plushie blind box is one of the best I've ever seen. They are so detailed and so cool. And we have this beautiful tail with a bow on it. Oh, I love the tail like this. That is so neat. Yeah, this is just really beautiful. Like I love the wings. I love all the details. I think the really like crazy colored hands and feet and eyebrows though. I don't know if it's a bit much for me. I still really like it, but I wish they were like purpley, bluey, pinky. I think that would make me like it more. I try and stay away from primary colors. So this is a bit primary colors. I can't believe I got the secret edition though. That is totally crazy. I did get this from Twinkle Forest and Twinkle Forest no longer exists, which makes me so sad. And the owner always had such good luck picking boxes for me. The owner did move to a different city and if the owner does reopen or do anything in the future, I will definitely let you know. But I love my candy Chino's lore. It is really, really neat. And I'm really excited to have another one of these. And we don't have much left to open. So I think we're going to go for our last blind box of Mimia. That isn't uh, our happy birthday, Emma. I'm so excited to see who we get for this one. This is our only series from today's video where we had two boxes of it. And we did so good with our first pull. So I'm really hoping for our blue mushroom. That would be amazing. If that's the one we got, I'd be so excited. So let's see, one, two. Oh no, we got a different one. This one looks like, ooh, it's kind of like card themed. This one looks neat. It's black, red, and white. Oh, and I think we have a lantern. That is really cool. Oh, I love that accessory. Oh, and I think the face looks amazing for this one. Let's have a look at it. Oh, this one looks so cool. Oh, wow, I love the red eyes. The red eyes are so cool. And this one's stand looks like a little black cloud. Oh, I love this one. The hair is so cute. Oh, this one is amazing. All right, let's open up this lantern. Ooh, this one actually dangles. The lantern is not like, you know, just a solid piece of plastic. Wow, that is such a cool detail. I love this series. It has just so many amazing details. It's so cool. And the first accessory fits so well into the hands. I think this one, we won't have a problem with it either. Yeah, it fits really nicely. Again, I can't wait to show you what this looks like standing because of our lantern. Wow, just look at this one. It's so cool. I absolutely love it. Look at all of the beautiful details. We have like a glass eye. 
and such a pretty face. And the stand is so cool. And it's another ram. Oh, this one is just gorgeous. I love it so, so much. And I'm not sure if the translation is correct for this one, but it translates to UFO. I don't think that's right, but that's all I'm getting when I try and translate the name. Oh, and if we have a look at the side of the box, you'll see we got this colorway here, the red and the kind of brown and white. The other colorway was this one here where it was like yellow greeny. I definitely prefer this colorway, so I'm excited if I was going to get this figure that it was this colorway. I was kind of hoping for this one or one of these three. Or this one's cool too with the rabbit in like this colorway. Such an interesting series. I just love the fact that you can get different colors for the designs. It's really fun. And we're down to one Emma birthday party series. So we're either going to get the sunflower one or we're going to get the secret edition. Please let it be the secret edition. I would love it if it was the secret. I definitely think I have to buy this secret if I don't get it in today's video. It is so beautiful. But let's have a look and see. Oh, I think it's sunflower, just judging from the shape. That's too bad, but let's have a look at it. One, two, three. Yeah, we got sunflower. Sunflower was one of my favorites, though. I love the color for this one, and it's so pretty. And here's the card for Give You a Sunflower from Emma's birthday party. This one's definitely one of my favorites. I do love the crown on top of our sheep ram, Emma. It's so cute. And our horns are so beautiful in purple. And this one is all very pastel. I think this one kind of looks like a magician or something. I love the sunflower wand and the colors for this one are just really fun and spring. This series actually came out just before Christmas, which was a really weird time, which is why I waited for my birthday to open this, because this is such a spring series. Definitely not winter at all. But this is a really cute one to end the video, though. As I said, one of my favorites, so I'm glad I have it. But I'll definitely put up a picture of the secret edition so you can see what it looks like and why I was so obsessed with it. It's definitely a lot of my favorite things. So here's a look at everything that I opened up for our blind boxes. I definitely will include some b-roll and a better shot at the end of all of these standing up so you can see what they would look like when they're being displayed. But I hope you enjoyed looking at all of these amazing blind boxes that I opened up in today's video. We're gonna end the video with my absolute favorite thing that I bought myself just before my birthday. Of course, I'm talking about the Skull Panda and Pop Mart collab doll, which is just so beautiful and amazing. Let's go ahead and have a look at the packaging. This is covered in plastic wrap. And this Skull Panda action figure is called White Dew. I absolutely love the box for our White Dew doll. It is just so beautiful and textured. I don't know how well it's showing up on camera, but in person it's beautiful. And it is embossed, so it is 3D, which is really cool. It's really fun to run your fingers down it. This figure was pretty expensive. It wasn't crazy expensive, but obviously it's a lot more than a blind box. So I'm glad the packaging has a luxe feel to it and it was really well thought through. This was limited edition, so it's not available anymore, but it was $189.90. And that is in American. I did have a coupon on the Popmart US site. So I did get this a bit cheaper, which is awesome. And it got released on May 26th of this year. And just to give you some product details of what's inside our beautiful box, 
we have a 9.64 or 24.5 centimeters in height action figure. I like calling it a doll, but they do call it an action figure. It does have a removable helmet and mask. It does have removable hair as well. And the eyeballs are movable. And the shoulders can rotate or disassemble. Same with the waist. And it does come with double jointed elbows. Inside of the box, you can see that there is two replacement hands. So the current hands are detachable and they do have a slightly different design. So the two hands that are inside of the box have all of their fingers closed, where the two hands that are currently on the doll are kind of apart from each other. And the beautiful skull panda white dew does have some outfit accessories included. So we have two fluffy sleeves, these super cute kind of skeletal style shoes, and then we have a very minimal bandage dress, a flexible rubber skirt, and that is it for the outfit. I kind of wish the outfit was more elaborate, but it's definitely very Skull Panda and kind of has that skeleton creepy look to it. I'm not sure what size of ball jointed doll clothes you could use with this figure. I'm not super familiar with ball jointed dolls. I only have a few of them and I haven't ever bought an accessories for mine. So if you know what size would fit this Skull Panda action figure, put it in the comments. I would really appreciate it. The attention to detail is amazing though and the figure does stand really well which is awesome. I'm sure I can come up with some really cool poses of it. I'm not really going to do any poses in today's video. I just wanted to show you me opening it up and having like a first look at it. But I definitely think I'll be doing a dedicated video about this doll where I'll show poses and removing parts and stuff like that. So this is just really a sneak peek because I really wanted to open this up for my birthday. I've been so excited. This was the thing that I was most excited to open in today's video and I'm just in love with it. It's so cute. The designer Xiang Miao behind Skull Panda is just incredible and I absolutely love this action figure. I knew I wasn't going to be disappointed in it but I hope you liked having a look at it. I think it is so beautiful. I hope you enjoy seeing some close-ups. It is just amazing and definitely let me know in the comments if you want to see more of this figure because I definitely can do a dedicated video. Thank you so much for watching my birthday unboxing haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing more things than just blind boxes or if you just enjoyed the blind boxes that's okay too but I was really excited to open up our scale figure and our skull panda action figure. Both of them are just so incredible and beautiful. I'm completely in love with everything. We didn't have 100% birthday luck with us for the blind boxes, but that's just how it goes with blind boxes, so I knew I wasn't going to get everything I wanted. And next week I am going to have a Shinwu birthday unboxing series as well from Finding Unicorn as well as a bunch of other baby ghost bear related items that I've picked up over the last few months. And I can't wait to show you the vlogs of my trip and my vacation to Vancouver. I went to so many blind box stores and have so much to show you. The vlogs are just going to be really awesome. I hope you're excited for them. But I hope you have a great rest of your day and you really enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching my birthday unboxing. And I'll see you on the next unboxing video. Be sure to subscribe and like this video.